Hello there, good evening and welcome to Sister Sister on CCTV and 97.3 City FM. It's your all-women talk show. We talk about your relationship problems and discuss relationship issues on this very platform. And so there are various ways that you can be a part of our conversation. It's two things. Maybe you have comments to make on anything you hear or perhaps you have something that you're personally going through that you'd like to share with my sisters and myself. This is uh, the time to send them in. We deal with messages on a first come, first serve basis. So just send it to jessica at cityfmonline.com or via WhatsApp to 054-998-6996. It's right there on your screens. Just send it to us and uh, we'll be more than happy to address your issues as uh, they come in. Um, my name is Jessica, your regular hostess for the show. And uh, for the next approximately 60 minutes, I'll be with, here, uh, with you um, um, or should I say, I, sh I will be here with my sisters uh, talking about your relationship with Hala. So right after this, I will introduce the ladies for tonight. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Sister Sister. Right, so let's say hello to our sisters in the studio tonight. And of course, I've got Tina in house. Hi. What's going on, girl? You look good. Thank you. Um, I'm getting ready for Mogo. Yes. And um, tickets are fast running. Oh, so, boy. Um, hopefully, you watching me, you've gotten your tickets 120 regular, 200 VIP. Shop. And let's chill, man. It's, it's going to be, be great. a big night. You have yeah. a really interesting lineup there. I am, you Aman know Zuba, what? Yeah. KK Kabobo, Kobna Kobna, Bessa Akwabwa, oh gosh. Uh, Sina Soul. And then we have um, Chale? Kwampa. Kwampa Band. Oh, Ooh, sweet. Solid. Ladies, are you coming with us to Mogo? Yay! You better be. Do they have a choice? <laughs> you better be. <laughs> anyway, uh, Tina, it's good to see you. To um, see you. Also, Olivia? Yes. What's going on in the UK? Oh, nothing much. Just busy, 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 busy. Work has been busy events here and there, but yes. It's a good thing. Yes, it's yeah. a good thing. I yeah. like to rather stay busy than, yeah. The devil um, has work for idle hands. I know. Mm. So it's, it's good. I'm enjoying it. It's all good. And most importantly, I'm grateful for the gift of life. So, yeah. Always grateful. Rosie's smiling at you. I know. <laughs> Why, I did you also work. want to say some? No, I miss work. Ah, right. It's funny, but I do miss no. work. Yeah? I wish I was at work. How many more months to go? Oh, maybe like two. Hey. Hey. Uh, I envy hey. you. Good for you. Well, actually, no, I don't envy you. Yeah, you know. I wonder if it'll be like, you know. Life will be boring. Yeah, staying at home for three months. Yeah. No, it's well, then again, it'll be engaging because it's a baby. Yeah. Taking yes, all your time. Yes, it's a different kind of engaging. Yes. Yes. You know, yes, the, yes. the work is getting work done. You're getting things. Things yeah. are happening. You know, things are moving. But the house staying three months is just yeah. suck, suck, suck. with Change your madam. <laughs> I saw I saw your your post about yeah, this morning about yeah. poop. <laughs> so I mean it's all about that. So it's 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 hard work, but it's a different kind of work. Sure, sure, mm -hmm. true. So sometimes I actually do miss work. You guys need to check out the hashtag Mummy Diaries. Yeah. She's been <laughs> posting oh. some very interesting <laughs> stuff on that hashtag. Too. Oh, is it two? Yeah, oh, yeah. two other right. Two. So yeah. go check it yeah. out. Yeah. It's takes all the stuff that Rosina has been going through when it comes to motherhood. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, ladies, you're welcome. Good to see you guys again. Uh, let's you. go straight into action. A message from AK says, I've been dating my guy for 14 years now. I have two kids. He also has two. The problem is there's nothing I've ever asked for that I've received from him. I take care of my kids all by myself. I just found out two years ago that he's adopted a child from his ex. And when I asked, he said he just wants to help the poor child. Yet I'm the one who feeds and clothes him. What should I do? Is this a relationship I should continue? I'm suspicious about that um, child. Though. Yeah. I'm just saying. I, 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 personally, I think you should talk about it. Because I feel like you're bottling all of this inside and you, you haven't actually spoken to him or approached him. Because I didn't sort of get that vibe when you sent the message. It's as though you're observing. You're, you're, probably your language is about giving, giving, giving. But right now you're realizing that it's not being reciprocated. And you're beginning to f appreciate that 
it's not right. Um, really, especially when you're taking care of the man, taking care of children, your children, his children, and now he's bringing somebody else in, his ex's child into the equation. Really, that's, there's everything wrong with that. Because uh, first and foremost, the ideal thing that's supposed to happen is that both of you would sit and have a conversation about somebody else joining your family. And that didn't happen. You were there and he just came up, brought another child into your family. For me, that's not right. That's something that you should talk about. So I think that you should call him, not in a nagging way, but in a very serious manner, in a, in a low tone. It, it, it's, always, it's always about how you approach the situation, how you approach the problem. If you tell him, this is what you've observed, and because you love him, you're trying as much as possible to be supported. We all don't know whether he's working, whether he's not working, as in that is why you happen to be supporting the fi family financially. But if he's working, and you are also working hard to support the family, you need support. It's not just you that is in the relationship. So you cannot be doing this on your own. And um, I was listening somewhere recently recently about love you know and how we all perceive love love really everybody tries to define it there's no exact definition when it comes to love but what I heard recently really inspired me because it was about the fact that love is sacrifice you know to what extent would you go to ensure that that other person that you're in the relationship with is okay you know, are you going to, uh, you're sacrificing just to make sure that, I'm sacrificing just to make sure that Tina is okay. Tina, have you eaten? Are you okay? Is everything okay with you? And you're getting that same thing in return. So if you're not ready to sacrifice for whoever it is that you're in a relationship with, then you don't really care about the person enough. So mm -hmm. there's everything wrong about this. By all means, talk to him about it. If he's not ready to um, help, contribute to the marriage or the relationship in which you're in really you're better off being on your own taking care of your two kids and that money that you're using on him and his kids and everything invest it into their future invest it into something else because really there's no value being attached to this relationship are they married or they are dated she didn't no, stay so i'm like guessing they, there's no marriage there's no marriage yeah. okay now um my thing about this is that you know normally when women tend to have kids and they get into relationships they feel that because they are born two born one born two born whatever they feel of less value so they settle for almost anything mm. my take is that from day one she's been doing the giving mm. she's been doing the giving she's been doing the giving so it's become a norm whether the guy has found a job whether the guy has not found a job whether the guy has money whether the guy doesn't have money He's used to having her give at home. So because of that, it's like in his mind, you are there. You have the means. You can do it. So he's not bringing it together. I mean, he's not bringing it into the table. Now, they're not married. Either in a relationship for 14 years. Both have their two children. And they haven't sealed it yet. My take is that, is it a comfortable relationship for the man? That's why he's still in it. It's like he can do almost anything and get away with it. My take is that she's probably a kind of lady who doesn't know how to talk to the man when things are going wrong. Because something like this brought a child from the ex-girlfriend. Every woman would be like, Ugh. but see how calm she is. She doesn't even know what it's like. Every woman will be livid by the thought of your man that you are with, who you spend money on. Go and bring a child from his ex-girlfriend. Like you said, that child most likely belongs to him. Mm. Or could belong to him. Could, yeah. Could belong. Because why would he want to pick the child of an ex-girlfriend who belongs to another man? Mm. <coughs> it doesn't make sense. I feel you. It doesn't make sense. So I think that she's in a relationship where she can't seem to tell the man what she's thinking, <coughs> what she wants what she needs the man to do, what she doesn't need the man to do and all that. So it's two things. She can start talking. She can start opening her mouth and actually start telling the man what is in her head. Mm. The only thing is that say it nicely. Don't go the shouting, screaming, insulting way. At least let the man know exactly what you are thinking, exactly what you like, what you don't like, 
your difficulties with taking care of all four children, how, how hard it is on you, and the fact that it would be nice if you could chip in to take care of the children. If not, a time is going to come which will be very difficult for you to do that. Mm -hmm. And you probably have to call the relationship quits. Not because you don't love him, but because it's something you just simply can't sustain. Now, if you start doing things like that, in the beginning, you might get some backlash. He will argue with you. Why, why are you seeing this? Why are you suddenly doing this? And that is out of jealousy. And it's da-da-da-da. Whatever. But as time goes on, maybe it will sink in. And then he will start doing the right thing. So, um, as an add-on, I would say that when you've had kids both of you are entering a relationship and you're bringing in kids sometimes it's not marriage may not be the goal mm -hmm. you you just want companionship and sometimes who you can talk to train the kids to become whoever and sometimes the kids are already grown so all you need is this companionship and and this um walk through walk through life like somebody to hold your hand through life so um yeah they may not be married but it's it, it may be a proper relationship for 14 years mm -hmm. you understand now the dynamics of the relationship is what we need to bring into question now what have you what terms are you engaging in so is it that um we are living separately but we are in a relationship or we are all under the same umbrella in the same house. I contribute to this, you contribute to that. Even though it's not marriage, you need to clearly define your terms of engagement so that you don't feel grieved the way you are feeling grieved now. That anything you ask for, you don't get it and you are taking care of him. We cannot bring into question all that is happening because we don't even know what happened along the way like Rosina was asking it, whether um, sorry Olivia was asking whether he's working or not we don't know so why is it that you are the one taking care of the man um, are your kids old enough to be bringing income into the house such that it's not like you are taking care of the kids as well you know, there are too many things that come into play. So 14 years of being together means that it, it's, it, it, it's commitment. It's something that the two of you have decided to do, but you haven't clearly defined what you are supposed to do. So I think that, yes, you should have a conversation mm -hmm. that would actually say to both of you that, listen, um, yes, we, we are in a relationship. We are not married, but I respect you enough. I will take care of the bills. You will take care of this, 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 that, that, that. And when I ask you something, I think that you should, you should also bring my needs into, you mm -hmm. know, um, um, consideration. Journey. Now, um, Olivia was saying something about love. And I also read somewhere that love is service. Mm -hmm. Love okay. the reading <laughs> yes <laughs> love is service so um sometimes it's it's sacrifice and service mm -hmm. so you are always willing to do something a service for your partner sure. mm -hmm. you want to you want to go out of your way to deliver a service for your partner so it, it doesn't actually um you're always working to make your partner very happy and that is what um you should be looking at so Try and push or try and talk to your your partner and, 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 and tell them that, listen, yes, I know you may not have this. I know you may not have that. But I, I think that if I bring my needs to you, maybe we can work something out. You should, be, you should show me willingness as in to, oh, I want to do this. I want to help you, but I cannot. Now, the question of um, the last person as in he taking care of his ex. Now, I think it's ex's a child. Ex, it's ex's child. Um, mm. I think it's a question of being comfortable with the fact that you are doing all the work. And so, yes, it's... It, it, I don't think... Okay, let me just rephrase. I think there's a possibility that that's his child. Yes. And he hasn't declared the fact that that is his child but that's his ex's child first of all it's disrespect we haven't had conversation about it and 
I think that what he thinks is you are taking care of him. So whatever little money he has, he can pump it into taking care of his child whom he has with his ex. You know, mm. so you should have a conversation ab ab about it by all means and tell him what you are not comfortable with. Should you stay in the relationship, it's up to you mm -hmm. because, I mean, you know, you know the weight of the problems and how you, how you cannot tolerate it. So just have the conversation, see how it's going and then make a decision whether you can stay or not. Great. So, AK, I hope you're listening and uh, you can take some advice from here. We'll move on. One says, uh, hi, Jess. I'm a guy in my early to mid-20s. I put off dating so I could focus and get done with school. I'm currently carrying out my national service and looking to start dating. Getting someone is one thing, but keeping her interested is a whole <laughs> new ball game. How do I keep her interested amidst other advances from other guys? I'm a newbie in dating. Please advise your little brother. <laughs> That's interesting. Hmm. How do you keep women interested? This is actually not a question for a newbie. <laughs> <laughs> it's a question for everybody because, um, yeah. as he said, getting the woman is one. Keeping she her is another. And, and vice versa, actually. And that, that comes... Um, so you should know who you're entering a relationship with. You should know what makes them tick, what makes them laugh, what makes them happy. What you need to sort of make a move to understand your partner. Now, when you do, the thing is you should be willing to actually make the move to make them happy. So if you get tired at some point that every time you need to crack a joke for her to laugh <laughs> or every time I need to cook for him to make him happy, then it means that you, you wear out easily. You need to be very happy to do the things. That's why I'll say this again. Love is sacrifice and service. You need to know the person and then be willing to sacrifice and do things f to make the person happy. Mm. Otherwise, you see that your attention, the attention span that you guys have will be waning and waning and waning till it's, it's gone, you know. So that's on my side. That's what I feel. You need to know him. You need to know her. You need to be able to do things or sacrifice and do things for, for them to be happy. If, if it's watching a movie once in a while, maybe he likes to watch movies and you don't like to watch movies at all. So make a compromise. Maybe two weekends in a month, you guys can just go to the cinema, watch a movie, and that will be his time. You also like to do your spa, pedicure, whatever, whatever. He doesn't like following women to the... To, to, to the spa or anything. You also try and do it. You know, things like that. Meeting yourselves halfway, I think, would, would help the relationship. I, I think that when you're in a relationship and you're overthinking things, you ruin it. Like, yes, your aim is to make your partner happy, but it should flow naturally. When you're about to see your partner and you start wondering, uh -huh, so today, what am I going to talk to her about? <laughs> I have to, you know, what are we going to talk about? Then it becomes stiff. It's either you over-idolize them, but it, 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 should, it should flow. You know, it should flow. Um, it should take its natural um, course. course. And, and you should just relax. It's, it's about finding out who you are with in that moment just take it one day at a time breathe this is jessica who is she i'm interested in her i want to get to know her you see and 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 make a conscious effort to to know the person and know what they like what they don't like that's a start and with with us women any woman who is interested in you would reciprocate it. 
You see, she wouldn't be quiet. She'd be like, mm, 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 mm. And you see, when you're talking or you invite her out, hey, do you want to watch a movie? Um, her body language, you know, try and find out what her body language is. Is she also interested? Is, she, is there a movie that she loves to watch? Is there something that you guys can talk about? When you find a relationship whereby you're talking, the person is also talking. I'm not saying that all relationships, the girl should talk, but they're, they're ladies who are not quite talkative, but they reciprocate in many ways. Mm -hmm. You know, she would giggle, she would respond to you, she would laugh to your jokes. You would just know when she's also interested enough about you. But from the beginning, just relax. Um, do the things that you're supposed to do in terms of looking nice and all of that, you know. But make a conscious effort to get to know what the person like because, likes. Because honestly, there's no point in trying to please some. It's like going to buy 500 Ghana CDs worth of roses when she probably wants, I don't know, Kobe stew and <laughs> uh, some yam to eat. And, you know, her day would be completely made. So once you get to know the person, then you can you can make them happy enough to want to be with you and always know that love is give and receive it shouldn't be just you that's in the relationship you should feel as though that person also loves you in return and they show you that they love you in return when they also start asking you questions about you mm -hmm. because they also want to meet you halfway to ensure that you're also happy in the relationship mm -hmm. okay okay you made a statement that um Getting the girls, like us in um, dating the ladies is not a problem, but keeping them is the problem. Now, dating the, the initial dating the ladies should be taken seriously. Because, you see, what happens is that especially people who are fresh from school like that, who don't have the, you know, the, they have a certain idea about who that ideal wife should be. And sometimes that image is different from that person that they can easily bond with. I don't know if you understand what I'm trying mm. to say. For instance, maybe when he's not looking to date and he's just hanging out with colleagues, there are certain people he's naturally drawn to, i.e. because of certain um, physical, attributes, maybe. physical attributes, maybe the way they talk, maybe some sports or some things they're involved in. He's naturally drawn to those people. But in his head, he has the perfect image of a woman an ideal wife who should be like this, who should be like that, who should not talk like this, who should not dress like this, who should go to church five times a week, who should do this, you know, he has an image in his head. So what happens is that when he sees people who suit that ideal wife image, these are the people that he keeps asking out. Right. So yes, asking out, oh, fresh guy from school, you are cool, everything. The girl also thinks that, oh, you're a nice guy, handsome, dress well, promising and everything. But you start dating and you realize that the common ground is very limited. Mm. So sometimes you think that is the dating process that's difficult to keep. But maybe the two of you from day one, uh, you, are, you are looking at the wrong thing. You're looking at the wrong place. So allow yourself to make friends. Allow yourself to gel with ladies. Allow yourself to learn how to communicate with women. Definitely, somebody's going to hit you so hard like... This is it. I, I need to know this woman more. I need to get into her life. I need to spend, if not the rest of my life, quite at least some significant amount of my life with this woman. I need, to, I need to get to know her. Then when that pushes you and you make that decision, most likely than not, the woman is also interested in you or probably also adores the same things. It doesn't mean that you can't get rejected. You could, but it will be something that you really want, not an image in your head that has been sold to you either by an older brother either by a few friends, either by an uncle, sometimes even by your parents. Mm. So I think that you should get into yourself. Know the kind of person you really want to be with, what you want your future to really look like, and start looking for people that exude the kind of person you're looking for, mm. not picture images. That's right. all I need to add to the rest. So unless you get, once you get those things, you can, the, the dating process is just a matter of yes, time. Yes, It'll be ups yes. and downs, but... Yes, and like that, I just just remember, it's it's work in progress every yeah. single day. You know, yeah. um, it doesn't matter what what stage of the relationship you're in. You really need to consciously make an effort yeah. to improve. You know, and make your your partner happy as well. I, I need to go for uh, a commercial break. We'll be back. Uh, there's more um, on sister sister right after this. <laughs>
Witness the twisted and tangled story of betrayal, greed, vengeance, and love in the award-winning Brazil Avenue. Carminia, a woman led by greed, gets rid of her husband who is Rita's father and sends Rita away to a filthy landfill. Rita finds love in Batata, but they are soon separated by adoption into different families far away from each other. Many years later, all paths cross again as Rita, now a renowned chef, seeks to pay back her stepmother for taking away her happiness as a child. It's a story of twists, turns, suspense, and thrilling action in Brazil Avenue. Brazil Avenue airs Wednesdays to Fridays from 10 to 11 p.m. only on City TV. Welcome back to Sister Sister on CCTV and 97.3 City FM. If you have comments on any of uh, you know the questions that we received here tonight, you can send them in to 054-9986-996. Or better yet, if you have a question for us, throw it to us. We'll be more than happy to address it. You can send a quick email to jessica at cityfmonline.com as well. Now, um, her message here says, hello, Jess, trust you're doing well, especially Tina. I love her submissions. Hey, mm. wow. Uh, why are you That's surprised? A <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it says, my question to you ladies is, how do you deal with red flags, even though you're so much into a lady, and how do you man up and totally dissolve a relationship? I'm asking this because I've been going out with this lady for two good years, only to realize just recently that I've actually been dating myself. <laughs> she was actually dating two of us in the same church. Oh. I got really depressed so much that my best friend had to come and spend two nights with me. I'm still healing with time, but I think I take much of the blame because there were countless red flags that I either ignored or probably thought she will change with time because I wanted her to know me for herself. My first red flag was her name on my phone. I named her sweetheart on my phone and she deleted it and stored her original name as in her real name on my phone like she had saved mine on hers anyway anytime i talk about marriage she's either she either defers the topic or intentionally changes it with a totally different topic i've introduced her to my parents but she refused to introduce me to hers i call her most of the time there was a time that i even intentionally decided not to call her for a week and guess what she never even called me. I blame myself a lot because I saw it coming, but I couldn't gather, gather the courage to dissolve it myself. So I'll go back to the top. The questions he asks, how do you deal with red flags, even though you're so much into this lady? And how do you man up and totally dissolve the relationship? <laughs> you, you see, red flags are red flags. Charlie. I, 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 hmm. I think that... Sometimes you just have to speak to yourself, um, remind yourself how valuable you are, remind yourself the fact that actually somebody is busily praying for you, fasting, seeing all kinds of people just because they are looking for you. You, know, you probably you haven't seen it yet or you haven't made yourself available yet. You understand? Just remind yourself of your value. Like know your worth. Remind yourself of your worth. 
then you realize that it's not on for somebody to take you for granted like that because these are very serious red flags a lady when you start talking to a lady about marriage and she's like uh, 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 change the topic to business uh, uh, uh. now you're taking her to your family let me go and meet your brother to abobo hmm. you understand like it's to, uh, even the name charlie if me if you save my name with a pet name on your phone i'm excited mm. Because for me, it's like, you are the only person who calls me this way. I feel you. you have the right to call me honey. You have a right to call me sweetheart. You have a right to give me a pet name. Now, I, me, I should not pick your phone and change it to my original name. Which means that, mm -hmm. under no circumstance should, should I call, call you. Me? For your name, my name to read sweetheart on your phone. For maybe somebody to be sitting by like, hey, what girl named friend who? No. <laughs> she doesn't even want that tag. Now, remind yourself that you are better off with somebody who loves you, who cares for you, who cherishes you, who wants to be with you, who enjoys being in your space. And you shouldn't take anything less. Now, if you keep reminding yourself, it's easier to walk away. But if you keep looking at, oh, Chade, she be fine girl. She's so nice. Oh, yes, she's knowledgeable. Yes, she's da 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 da. You keep reminding yourself of her positives, then it becomes difficult to walk away. So if you want to walk away, remind yourself of your value, of your worth, and the fact that you deserve better, and walk away. And trust me, sometimes walking away is difficult, but anytime you walk away to the next one, you look back and you're like, ah, why was I spending so much time here? Like, really? Exactly. Two whole years wasted, you know? You, 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 you wonder how you lasted in that one, because there's a better one out there. So I think you sh it's, it's a mind thing. Your mind should be strong enough to be able to walk away and stick to walking away. And please, when you walk away, don't look back. Mm -hmm. Important. The way is your front. When you're in a, in a relationship and whoever you are in that relationship with doesn't add any value whatsoever to you as a human being, you know, value, the person doesn't value your love. The person doesn't value you as a human being. The person doesn't, the person doesn't need you. Clearly, she doesn't want you to be a part of her family. She's not interested. She's, I mean, you've defined the relationship. And like you said, you're the only one in the relationship. Sadly, I've, I've had the opportunity of speaking to a few people here and there, young men. And it seems to be the trend. Really? Yes. Oh. And it's, 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 it's sad. Maybe, let's just call, let's just say maybe it's just coincidental. But the people you talk to. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, as but in the trend, as in the women are treating them like that? Yes. Oh, right. Okay. Whereby it's either, um, there was one instance where a young um, guy at work, we were talking about the same relationship, relationship thing, thing. And he goes to me, Oh, there was a girl in church who saw him who said, oh, um, who was checking him out. Right. So after church, she was like, oh, so how are you and stuff. So they were standing out. So the first thing a girl says is, um, where's your car? Ah. And, then, and, and then he's like, oh, I don't have a car. I'm coming to order Uber. She's like, oh, really? <laughs> and then that was it. <laughs> Forget the checking out. Look at someone with the car. And he, he, he said to me, Olivia, yeah, okay. he, he, no, no, he said to me, Olivia, can you believe? So she was checking me out to make sure what I had the car. Meanwhile, she was going for to pick church. I was picking Uber. Matter, yeah. ah, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, 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 I'm, I'm great. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 you know, the reason why I'm saying that mm. is because now young men feel that young ladies want more when it comes to maybe money, somebody um, financing their credits, their hair, their this, their that. So do you know what the young men also do? They also go out, they drink aphrodisiacs and they make sure that they get their money back. Uh -huh. <laughs> Cut a long story short. What I'm trying to say is that hmm, there's somebody who is also in a relationship that he knows is going nowhere because the girl only calls him 
when she wants money. Mm. He thinks he's in a relationship. He loves her to bits, exactly like this story. And it's killing him to break up with this girl because up, he really loves the girl. But you see, that's life and that is love. Like we keep saying, um, um, uh, Tina said, love is about service and sacrifice. When the person is just not into you and doesn't love you the same way and it's not reciprocal, my guy, Tale, this one, and you're simple. Which Nase, she's not available. You are calling her. She's not picking up. You are uh, doing whatever it is. She's not minding you. Ah, then sometimes some people can be in a relationship with you for like months. Cry. You haven't even heard their voice. Hello, hi, how are you? But you think you're in a relationship. Text the person. Find the person if you can. Break up with the person. Finish. What kind of relationship are you in that you're the only one who is talking to yourself? <laughs> so the person doesn't even think about you to say, oh, my babe, like, have you eaten? Or how was your day? Good night. And you're in the relationship. Dog, no. Pill be our pill enough, man. Hey, Thank you. Life is too short. Too short. This ain't love, man. Move on. Yeah, same love. I agree. <sighs> Yeah, so a, a bit of empathy from my side. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's very, it's very difficult. Eh, sometimes when you are really into the person and you see some things that you hope the person will change, and and, and they are red flags. So you know that Charlie, if you continue this way, but you are just praying to God and say, "Hey, it's a way, yeah, come like, I'll, yeah, come <laughs> and find now, baby." So um, I. My my story is no different from this guy in in the beginning. Um, I was in a ten year relationship, and mm -hmm. I I knew at some point that listen, I, I needed to let it go, but it was so difficult for me. It was so 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 difficult. A decade. And Aww. sorry, a decade. Mm -hmm. Yes, and mm. and when I came out of it, okay, finally. Jess will always say to me that I am I'm very wicked because I cut you off. Oh, so Jess, I mean, <laughs> yeah. no, show, you know, show. See, you suggest like no. So Jess, is that Jess, that Jess will always tell me. I give like, you forty-eight me, hours. I'm savage. Forty-eight hours. I will cut you off and I won't look back. Sharp. Mm. Mm -hmm. Because of my experience. Because I realized that I wasted so much time, I wasted so much energy, mm -hmm. like I could have done so many things with my life. And then I'm looking back and I'm thinking, really? Would I have been with this person? Like, would I even have been happy? Like, there are so many questions that you, you ask yourself. But listen to me. Thing is that mm -hmm. if you actually make a decision, the, the difficult part is, is making that decision and moving to the next, next part. That's the difficult yes. part. Now, if you make that decision, trust me, and you do it, it's a liberation. Liberating. It's ecstasy. It's not even happiness. It's ecstasy. Because once you... It's, it's very difficult to move. But once you move and you don't look back, give yourself time, concentrate on different things, other things apart from the person that you used to do everything with, you're good. Mm. You're good to go. And then all of a sudden you see so many people, so many opportunities, <laughs> so yeah. many activities that you could have been indulging in and you were just boxed put, up. putting yourself in a box and you couldn't live your life. See, trust me, do you trim? If I don't know how to chop say your that, head. Uh, chop your <laughs> head inside, you know, and say to yourself that, as Olivia said, I value myself, I love myself, I deserve better. Exactly. Move on and get something better for yourself. Now, the, uh, what was he saying? He was saying something in the beginning about... Um, how to move what? on. <laughs> About what? No. The questions he was asking? Yeah. He was uh, saying... Um, he said something you know, that was running in my How head. do you man up to totally dissolve the relationship? No, yeah. Just That's, just those those are the only two questions he yeah. asked. Yeah. How to deal with the red flags. How to deal with the red flags. Oh, okay. That was something. No, you'll fill up plenty too much. Yeah. <laughs> Charlie, you, so you're looking for questions for your answer. <laughs> <laughs> as for this topic, yeah. I, I really am into it because... Close I, to I mean, Charlie... Don't waste your time. There's something better out there and mm -hmm. it's nicer than what you are in. All right. And don't look back. Oh. 
Yeah. yeah in the yeah. sweet time. All right, sister, sister, on City TV and 97.3 City FM. Remember, your comments are welcome to 054-998-6996 or a quick email to jessica at cityfmonline.com gets you through to the show as well. A message from DJ Elikim in Palladium says, I'm married to a woman who was once my childhood friend and a friend till we fell in love and got married. In our friendship days in school, I was a playboy and she used to give me other ladies. But now I'm a good boy. And the change happened soon after we got intimate, fell in love and got married after two years of dating. Even though everything is working for us, there's one little problem. Now, after we've gotten married, she, starts, she started being suspicious of me. Her reason being that she knows me inside out and can't believe that I've changed so much. At times, she blames herself for being part of what I was and that she, she loves me so much and doesn't want to lose me. My worry now is that I'm truly a changed person, but because she doesn't believe it, she beats herself up so much, makes unnecessary complaints, calls me unnecessarily when I'm not home, and at times will not talk to me a whole day and night if I either come home late or if I fail to pick up her call. I'm worried for her and for us. What should I do? Hmm. Yeah. This thing about old habits yes. die hard. Yes. Yes. People yes. always suspect, thinking yes. that, listen, this, if once they cut, always they cut. Mm. And um, it, it's, it's something that has hurt a lot of relationships, sure. okay? Um, but all you can do is to keep reassuring the person. Because the thing is, you, you live the life with her, okay? You but she was on finding mm. yes. yes. Yeah, so that's what I was coming to. Oh, oh relax. 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 <laughs> relax. Relax. Woman, she get problem. Wait, <laughs> relax. The thing is, she was the one looking for the for the chicks. the mm. chicks for you. Now you need to let her know, okay? Every time, reassure her. Because the thing is, you, you, have, you have decided to be in a relationship with her, but the girl is skeptical because she knows what you are capable of. <laughs> she remembers your hair days. Charlie, wow, You know? So any little trick or any little delay in your communication, sure, no, sure. Charlie, something is happening. So you need to be more transparent. You need to encourage her more. To, to listen to you. I'm sure my sisters will give you like a better, you know, a side to the story. But <laughs> I think that you should you should encourage Continue her reassure. And, and, and reassure her that listen, you day for her. No no be you two for seven. Yeah. My woman. <laughs> listen. It's not a woman, it's the man who sent the message. Yes, so, yes. Okay, so hopefully <laughs> I, I don't know, I hope she's watching yeah, yeah, woman. to, 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 say to other to say. other ladies. Listen, why are you going to find trouble where there's no trouble? Has he given you a reason to suspect him? Yes. He came yes. home late. He came yes, late. he came late. He did, did he pick, pick up his skulls? Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 he is just naming instances, right? Mm -hmm. As to why the woman becomes very jittery. He has told himself that he's a changed man mm -hmm. and it's been over a period of time. My guy, sit this woman down uh -huh. and say to her, all these women around the ones that you hooked me to and everything, who and I've married you, you are my choice, right? It should be a one-time conversation, done and dusted. It's not, the reassurance should rather For go and babe, not. I love you, we should go on holiday, tell you what's up. But constantly, oh, I've, I've never cheated Charlie's on you, tiring, I won't man. cheat on you. It is too much wahala, too Thank much you. Okay, stress. I think that... Sit you have that one-time <laughs> conversation with her. Tell her that you are the chosen one. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not. I'm, I'm not gonna cheat on you. The day I said I do, I really meant I do. So you have my word. Let her know once and for all, and tell her that you want to be able to enjoy your marriage with her, and then you move on. And for women, yes, you were her best, his best friend. Yes, you knew. Yes, whatever. But you decided to say you yes. You decided to say yes. It's, it's not like when you were saying yes to him, you didn't know his CV. You knew his CV, but he assured you that I am a changed man. Mm. So don't go look for trouble where trouble... I mean, it doesn't exist. Enjoy your marriage. Sorry. Like, half the time, we as women... Like, you sit down, then you'll be imagining things. But now he's lifted one girl's leg up and... He's 
Enjoy your marriage one day at a time. Think about how to Charlie keep the relationship spicy and moving. You and giant to to no, you say all. Oh. Ah, my mm. breaker. Rosina, Olivia. <laughs> add the ice into the cake. <laughs> there are four categories of people. I Thank did. you. Let's go. <laughs> they are the goody two shoe ones mm. who remain goody two shoes the rest of their lives. Mm -hmm. They are the good ones. Later, when they start tasting the cherry, <laughs> you can't stop them. They are also the ones who are bad and they are playboys until they die. They are also the ones who are playboys and they do all kinds of horrible things. And when they meet the one, that's it. Yeah. That's it. The rest are purely memories. They just enjoy it. At least they can hit their chest and say, I was there so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then they enjoy their marriage for what it is. My thing is that where there is no issue don't bring up issues unless you have concrete proof or unless your instincts are so powerful but never judge somebody by their past if truly you also have a past mm -hmm. because being a pimp is no it's no it's no it's no more <laughs> angelic than being a player mm -hmm. sure. seriously because the person will not be a player if he didn't supply. You were giving the supply, and all he was doing was servicing the supply. Servicing the supply. <laughs> so if anything at all, you were worse off. You understand? And he's not even judging you. He's not even judging you. He's <laughs> loving you for who you are because he's made a choice. You see, the thing about love is that you see, even though love is a feeling, da 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 da, ultimately love is a choice. Mm. Decision, yeah. It's a choice you make to give. Like you said, to sacrifice your all for one person, to serve one person, to give off your best to one person, the best that you can possibly humanly can. You understand? And in return, the person also sees that love and then reciprocates it. So if he has made that choice to be with you, please, I beg you, enjoy the marriage unless you see correct correct signs like the people that you hooked him up with no still he is still <laughs> linking with them he's still hanging out with them maybe still doing things with them then that's a different issue but if the only issue is that he went out and one a few times he came back late or you called him and he was busy he couldn't pick up and he called you back like two hours later mm -hmm. and then you're imagining things and thinking thoughts that one i think the lady is doing him, mm -hmm. uh, herself a disservice so all the man has to do like tina said keep reassuring her but you see i like um, um olivia's approach to have a drastic conversation with her once One and time. for all that look i did not make this decision with my eyes closed mm -hmm. i didn't make it with my ear or my my, my 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 eyes on my back i did it because i truly wanted to spend the rest of my life with you and i have proven it by the way i am with you why are you looking for trouble when there's no trouble if you have an agenda, then maybe you should execute it. Mm. But for me, I don't have an agenda. I have made a choice, and I'm living by my choice. Don't let this be difficult for both of us to do. Let's make it easy for ourselves. Let's enjoy ourselves. Let's look back and laugh at old times, laugh at all the exploits we used to do, you know, giggle about it, and then move on with our lives as best as we can, and then let things lie down. I mean, I think that that's what you need to do. But the woman, Charlie, if I were you... Mm. This is the time to giggle about the things you used to do, laugh about the things you used to do, and laugh at yourselves about how old you will have come <laughs> and how granny you will have come. The fact that you don't even do things like that anymore. You understand? This is the time to, you know. But that's also the downside about marrying people that are so, so close, close to, like, yeah, friends. Because when you are friends, in, your, you in the back everything. of your mind, there's no dating or no marriage issue. So you tell my body, this guy is my best friend, Charlie, this guy. Go do this, I go do that. <laughs> then now when you're married, you now have to play a different cup. Hmm. But hey, that's 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 yeah. life. Yeah. You, you you can't have it all sometimes. Yeah. 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 I think um, what we're all saying is that insecurity is ugly. Mm. You know, and it can sure. break relationships faster than anything. So as much as possible, yeah, you've done you've got this past with the guy you married, but you should be able to look past that and towards the future because if you're going to keep referencing him trust me there's a time where he will get tired and he will Thank actually you. you know he actually will walk away so my guy actually i feel for you oh, that's that's a very yeah. difficult situation to be in but 
you know, we, we, we trust you to take the right decisions and do have that chat with her. It's very important. Mm. It's Sister Sister. We'll go for a quick break. We'll be right back. you've been waiting for is here on Saturday, 23rd March 2019. As part of 97.3 CTFM's Heritage Month comes the music of Ghanaian Origin Concert, Mogo 2019. Time to experience the cocktail of the old and new, the legends and the crooners on one stage, Mogo 2019, featuring Amanziba, KK Kabobo, Adani Best, Kwabna Kwabna, Akwabwa, Kofi B, Sina Soul, and a Kwampa Band for one night and one night only. The music of Ghanaian origin, Mogul 2019. Seven you one overdose of nostalgia and happy feet. Venue, National Theatre. Date, Saturday, 23rd March 2019. Rate is 120 Ghana cities. Tickets available at the front desk of City FM and City TV. Gates open at 7 p.m. Call 0205 973 973 or 0302-224959 for ticket reservation. The music of Ghanaian Origin Concert, Mogo 2019, is sponsored by Freight Consult, your total logistics manager. Go is powered by 97.3 City FM and supported by City TV. For regular news checks as they unfold, 2020 news all day, all the time. Politics, sports, entertainment, business, and more. 2020 news. We bring you the world in 20 minutes. Welcome back to Sister Sister on City TV and 97.3 City FM. Remember, you can actually go to um, your Google Play Store or your Apple Store, download the City Newsroom app, and you should be able to listen to the show from wherever you are in the world, provided, of course, you have the app on your phone and some data to listen. Uh, we've got some more of your messages coming through. I will read this one. It says, I found a woman and rented a house for her and her son. I give her everything she needs. She hasn't worked for more than one year. She told me she only likes male friends, though, and mm. always seems to be preoccupied with them than with me. She even told me she slept with three of her male friends, but I still can't seem to stay away from her. I've tried many times to stay away, but I can't. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Lord. Aye. You know, there are some women, eh? mm -hmm. or there are some people that you just can't place your hand on what it is. You just want to be with them. There's no reason. You like their conversation. Mm -hmm. When they even say that they are leaving, you don't want them to leave. I think this guy is just in some, he's been trapped in a web. In a bubble. <laughs> 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 But listen, thing is, um, a lot of women are also learning the techniques of men or in, the, in the old times where they would do a disclaimer and tell you, me, you see, I like a lot of women. Women are my friends. If you come and you see a lot of women by me, don't get worried, you don't get worried because me, I'm a woman's man. The, the woman has done the same thing. <laughs> she has just told you that. Listen, my friends are men. I've even slept with three of them. But they are my friends. But they are my friends. Yeah, it was a one-time thing. Or it was, it was in the past. Nah, it happened and that was it. And maybe truly, she has a good personality such that she attracts a lot of men to her. And she also doesn't mind. She doesn't see what's wrong with it. So it's something that is a disclaimer. 
it's may, depending on where you sit, it may be a big red flag. And if you don't pay heed to it and you get into a relationship and finally you guys get married, you will be mm -hmm. referencing just like someone just finished referencing that. Listen, in the past, you were sleeping with this person, you were sleeping with that person, you slept with three of your friends. If they are still your friends, how do I know that you are still not doing it with them? If it bothers you that much, get out. Hmm. Okay, you've got two minutes each, okay, ladies. Minutes. Yes, oh, go ahead. Okay, so in a nutshell, <laughs> this girl, this uh, this girl that you're in a relationship with, she she has laid her card straight up. She's not hiding anything. She has nothing to hide. She has nothing to lose. She says she's there. If you like her, be there. If you don't like her, too, you can't go. So who is hurting? He's you are the guy. For help. Yes, you are the <laughs> guy who is hurting. So if you know, say wakumani is soft. Into me, sanya mau weya. Sometimes I know it's hard, but you need to look at the at the long, like the the bigger picture. If you feel that in the next few years to come, because she's not going to change for you, she doesn't want to change. Baby, so it's up to you. If you feel that you can't deal with it and your heart can't deal with it, please just go. Rosie, relationship goes through phases. We had the bubbly phase because it's very young. Maybe she gave you some style be that you've never experienced Thank before. You. And so, but at the, at the end of the day, Charlie, a time is going to come, you're going to wake up and smell the coffee and say, I can't handle it. But the question is, that when is that time? Don't, don't get yourself locked up, i.e. probably have another child with her or probably get married with her before you wake up and smell the coffee. Mm. I think wake up and smell the coffee now and run away. Whatever style she gave you, just like you now met and it's gotten you crazy, you meet somebody who can also give you same thing. Same thing. Or even better, an upgrade. Mm. An upgrade. Yeah. So, Charlie, I think we living. should stop playing with our hearts. We should stop playing with our hearts. Once you see that the thing, because even, yeah. even when you, you know that this is a good thing, mm. cry, it counts yeah, with it's Wahala. Same, yeah. It's the same. That's true. <laughs> then, yeah, yeah, this blaring red flags right in your face, and then, Charlie, don't do it. Don't do it. Dude. You've heard our sisters, oh, Charlie. I mean, they said it all. Don't do it. It's not. It's not. not it's not going to benefit you in the end. You know, um, you're going to be thinking every single time who she's with. If this person is just a friend, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We don't have to drag this crowd. We'll end it here. Thank you, ladies, for your time, Tina, Thank Olivia, you. Rosina, mm -hmm. and of course to you for tuning in every day or every time um, Sister Sister airs on this station. Um, we appreciate your patronage. Uh, we'll be back same time next week with another exciting edition of the show. My name is. Jen Jessica. Until next time, see you later.